Hello, my name is Larissa Elias. I'm a professor at the postgraduate program in design at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I'm the master's research advisor for the student Maria Luisa Coelho Garrido. The research is in progress, entering its second year. The objects under scrutiny are the costumes created by Hei Kawakubo for Mercy Cunningham's scenario dance performance. Hello, I am Maria Luisa Coelho Garrido. Uh, well, this research seeks to think, based on the study of the costumes for scenario, the notion of fashion sculpture, which is actually an idea still in development. The research project also proposes a practical experimentation. In this symposium, we are going to present some aspects of the dance from which we begin to try to organize and formulate the idea of fashion sculpture. Scenario is a 1997 dance performance created by the American choreographer Merce Cunningham. The costumes and settings were designed by Heiko Wakupu, who is a fashion designer and owner of the brand Comme des Garçons. He accepted Morse Cunningham's invitations to design scenarios costumes soon after presenting the Body Meets Dress, Dress Meets Body collection in 1997. As you can see here, a few looks from the collection. Uh, the collection was adapted for the performance. From the runway to the performance, there were some changes, but not very significant. This is an example of an adaptation of the clothes from the collection for the dance costumes. The adaptation in this case is the length and the material of the top. This is another example of an adaptation. The proposal to redesign the body, which is our focus here, that could already be seen in the clothes in the collection, became radicalized in the choreography. This is mainly due to the relationship between the adapted costumes, even though there were no major changes, and the countless movements of the dancers and the relationship of them with the space of the scene. Scenarios costumes in their game with movement and space are, in our view, one of the most striking expressions of the idea of fashion sculpture. The costumes as we can see here, were made of nylon and polyurethane and composed of skirt and blouse sets, shorts and blouse, or sometimes dresses. Lengths ranged from knee tight to knee to ankle. Each set had a large bump, a type of padding made of goose feathers that was sometimes around the neck, sometimes on the chest, on the belly, on the spine, forming humps throughout the body. This kind of body distortion guided the dancers' movements. It is therefore a conception of costume that proposes, through an imposition from the clothing, a subversion of the body, as traditionally understood. And also a costume that proposes a new kind of skin by confusing the limits of what is body and what is clothing. In several moments of the choreography, especially in the session called by Murs the tango, which comprises the final 15 minutes of the show, the dancers line up in pairs or trios. So they are forced to adopt a new point of view about other dancers, about themselves, and about space globally. I'll now present a small fragment of this excerpt. <laughs> someone, this new body dressed by that costume is one step further away than usual. The body probably loses sensitivity when the, where these protuberances are, altering the notions of balance and spatiality. 
The bodies, sometimes distorted, seem to spring from each other as if they were in a great process of formation. They allude to a grotesque body, similar to the body characterized in grotesque realism by Mikhail Bakhtin. Opened, unfinished bodies in process. The grotesque body is a hybrid, ambivalent body that harbors old age and birth in itself. When critics first saw the collection Body Meets Dress, Dress Meets Body, they made many comparisons with tumors, disease, and pregnant women's bellies in a pejorative way. The lumps in Kawakubo's dresses play with the image of a pregnant body, the humpy, tired belly, clothes assume imperfection and discomfort. In this image, we see Morse Cunningham himself wearing one of the costumes with some kind of a pregnant belly. This was a flyer for the marketing for the show. The sculptural images that are formed in the game between the performer and the costume in the scenario are one of the, the constituent aspects of the idea of fashion sculpture. The sculpture, often thought as, as a symbol of rigid, hard matter, can also shelter the fluidity of time and movement. The images produced by the body costume ensemble in scenario add this mix of rigidity and fluidity. In this sense, we could bring these images closer to the idea of the block of sensations proposed by Deleuze and Gattahi. According to the authors, the sculpture would present a variety of compounds of sensation. With the sensations of stone, marble, or metal, which vibrate according to the order of strong times and weak times, of bumps or hollows, their powerful hand-to-hand -hand that interwind them, their arrangements of large void between one group and another and within the same group, where you no longer know if it is the light, if it is the air that sculpts or is sculpted. In scenario, moving bodies together with the costumes compose several sculptural forms, compounds of sensations, as can be seen in these images. The replacement of a man's figure by the figure of a new geometric sculptural being who takes the stage also refers to the Hubert Marionette project, conceived by the English stage designer and actor Edward Gordon Craig. Craig proposes to replace the actor with the Uber marionette. In the introduction to the project, Craig describes a sculpture of a beautiful queen on a thumb that would have been found by Herodotus, a story that, according to Jacques Hansier, was made up. Such sculpture in its rigid and at the same time sinuous monumentality would incarnate the divine sense that he aimed for theater. Hansier says, the gestures of this regal beauty summarize the sacred art of movement, which is the true origin of theater. The sculptural body, controlled and powerful, approached the idea of the puppet, which was at the base of his conception of the actor. This new actor would be the Uber marionette, and his new scene would privilege the movement and the space. The Uber marionette is not exactly an object, but a whole aesthetic program. Fashion sculpture as an aesthetic conception gains relevance in the body meets dress, dress meets body collection and in scenarios costumes. In previous collections, some elements that could be added to this notion were already evident but did not appear with the same intensity. But the costumes in movement submitted to the choreography conceived by Kerningen have the characteristics explored to the fullest. These characteristics, in our understanding, form the notion of fashion sculpture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.